and I'm just bringing you guys a bit of uh, just just random. Uh, I'm kind of just fooling around the private match at the moment while I talk about this. I just wanted to make this video to address that getting really sick and tired of these stupid maps that bring back into new Call of Duty. Raid, Nuketown, you know, those are all terrible maps. And that, why can't they bring back maps like Stonehaven from Call of Duty Ghosts or uh, Miami is my favorite map at the moment. I'm just really glad they didn't like ruin the I mean because Modern Warfare already got like completely ruined because they they added in rust you know that was a, the, everyone hated that map uh, from Modern Warfare 2. It was just the worst. It was the largest map ever. Everyone hated it. Everyone complained it was impossible to find people. Stonehaven from Call of Duty Ghosts was a good map. Because it's very small, you know, it's very good for 1v1s or uh, other stuff, you know. Um, probably not search and destroy, but anything else. Call of Duty Ghosts was by far, I reckon, my favorite Call of Duty game. Strike Zone was also a direct copy of Dome from Modern Warfare 3. I also really liked Ghosts because dogs had, like, way more health than, like, actual people. Uh, and also they don't deserve more health if you were thinking they do deserve more health but You know the attack dogs from black ops 1 how you know whatever they you know, They were powerful whatever except I don't know if he called in attack dogs he called in like 30 of them, but we're not gonna talk about that what We will talk about is The fact that Call of Duty Ghost was by far the best Call of Duty game because it also had skill-based matchmaking, and not only did it have the best maps ever, but also had a crazy, stupid perk system that doesn't make any sense that no one will ever understand, ever. Uh, around the start of the game, you wouldn't know unless you played it from the, like, when it was out, that you had to pick, like, the challenge you wanted to complete before you complete it, uh, but they obviously fixed that because you know, it's a good call. Uh, I don't know why they removed that because that's just that was my favorite part, not being able to get any XP at all. But, uh, Search and destroy was amazing. Cold uh, g uh, gun game was really bad. I mean, it may have had forced game chat for TDM or whatever. Uh, or gun game. But another really good thing about Call of Duty Ghosts is the fact that Raw can not only survives. Uh, a train crash underwater and a 44 magnum shot to the chest but he can also drag a full grown man <laughs> across the beach and I mean it was really immersive I just had a connection for every single character in the entire game especially Elias he was very important I also really like the lady was I guess but aside from Call of Duty Ghost being the best Call of Duty game ever my second best was Advanced Warfare because I loved the exosuit movement system and their bunny hopping abilities were, made the game really enjoyable for every single person in the game. You know, who, who doesn't love getting killed by a bunny hopping douchebag from like a dual wield LMGs because that's in the game somehow. I don't know why but Advanced Warfare um, added like dual wield LMGs to one up the dual wield shock uh i forgot it was it was even dual wield shotguns from this, but they also allow you to plant yourself uh somewhere and just gain perfect accuracy with those dual wield lmg they're practically mini guns except you get them like really early uh like before level 30. but also the variants for the weapons were also really good for because they not only allowed you to abuse every single living thing in the lobby, but also brag about how many, how much of your mom's credit card money you spent on buying advanced supply drops, which I'm pretty sure is the only way to get these really great variants. But it's also really good for forcing people to uninstall the game, because, I mean, completely convincing people that there's no way they can ever have fun in Advanced Warfare ever again now that these variants and DLC weapons exist and definitely is pay to win because not only look cool but they change the stats and stuff uh, which 
is really good for advanced warfare if uh, you want to torture everyone who plays the game. And infinite warfare was literally exactly the same. Except if you wanted access to all of the DLC weapons in the entire game, just buy the season pass. I mean, it's better than a battle pass, I guess. I mean, Black Ops Cold War is doing fine as long... I mean, I'd take skill-based matchmaking over supply drops and pay-to-win stuff. Unless the supply drops had just cosmetic stuff, that's fine. I really do want the CDL weapon, uh, the CDL skins to be removed from the game. Obviously, they won't be, because I can't just beg to Treyarch or, or David Vonderhaar just saying, Oh, please remove the CDL skins. I'm really sick of getting pre-fired by a guy using an AK-74U using that skin. Because that happened to me. So oh, and using C4 as well with flak jacket. Yes, I have- I, I know that feeling all too well. Now, obviously this video was a joke, but like, oh, I'm sure no one was dumb enough to actually believe that I think Call of Duty Ghosts and Advanced Warfare were the best Call of Duty games. This right here is just a random clip of me doing well uh, in Advanced Warfare before the game got ruined by supply drops and variants and whatever. So, um...